guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video where I wanted to show you some of the things you can get for rats in Ikea that you might not have thought of. So I love Ikea as much as the next person. I love to go in there and shop for myself, but I have this issue where ever since I started to own rats, I can't go into a store and be like a normal person. Everything I see in a store, I'm thinking in my head, oh, I could use that with my rats and Ikea is no different. It's a really good place to get things and repurpose them and use them for your rats. So today I wanted to show you some of the things in Ikea that you could possibly use with your rats and potentially save yourself some money in the process. Some of these items are already really popular in the rat community and most owners are already using them with their rats and I do wonder if Ikea sales are being boosted for these items by rat owners because some of them I don't even know many people that use them for their intended purpose so Ikea you're welcome. So without further ado let's take a trip to Ikea to take a look at some of these things. So the first thing I spotted when I went to Ikea was the Hutton wine rack for £8. It does come flat packed so you will have to build it and assemble it, but I thought this would be such a good climbing frame for in their cage or for their free roam area. I do recommend painting it, I will be painting it with a pet safe non-toxic paint just to protect the wood just in case they do try to pee on it and I do recommend you do the same before putting it into your rat's cage but I thought it made a really good climbing frame. So the next item is a firm favourite and that is the compliment hanger for only £3. I think originally this is meant for like scarves and ties and things like that, but for rats it makes a really good rope. So these are a great cheap alternative to pet ropes you'd find in a pet store that can be a bit more pricey and every time I'm in an Ikea I tend to pick one of these up because they are such a good bargain and they're just great for hanging in the cage and giving your rat something to climb on and providing them with a much more active layout. So the next thing I saw you could possibly use was this hanging storage compartment for £13. I'm not too sure how this would fare over time with them sitting in there and possibly destroying it but I thought this could be something you could possibly hang from the top of the cage and give them somewhere to sit in. So something that is super basic but also a staple when it comes to owning rats is the shower curtain hooks from Ikea. These are fairly cheap and they're really good for hanging up hammocks or any other item you want to attach to the cage. I tend to pick up some of these whenever I go because I do tend to lose them quite often. So the next item is the Samler storage container. I think this one here was about £4 and this is a really good size container to give them a dig box. So if you've not seen my video where I show you how to make a dig box, I will leave that linked in the description, but giving your rats a dig box is a great source of enrichment and it's also fairly inexpensive too, so picking this box up for £4 is a really good idea. The lid for the Samla is sold separately. I tend not to use lids with my dig boxes just to give them an easy access to jump in and out, but if you wanted to buy a lid to contain all the soil and drill a hole in it, you could also do this as well. So the next few things I found in the kitchen section were a bunch of dishes you could use for pea fishing with your rats. The first one was ceramic and it was about £13. Personally I prefer to use the glass ones with them because you can fully see them going into the water and their little hands grabbing the peas which is definitely a lot cuter. And this was also £6 which is definitely a better price than the ceramic ones but they had so many different dishes in the kitchen section that you could use with your rats if you wanted to try pea fishing. The next thing I thought I'd mention is this doll's bed called Duck Tig for £13. I'm not too sure whether the rats would even appreciate this but it does look kind of cute. You could use this in your free roam area. I would recommend also painting this just to protect the wood but I thought this was too cute not to mention. 
And then something that I also pick up regularly when I go to Ikea is the bath mats. These come in so many different colours, you're sure to find one that matches your colour scheme if you have a colour scheme with your rats, but I tend to use these to cover the shelves of my cages instead of just leaving them bare. I cut these in half and they fit the shelf really nicely and I just attach them with binder clips and these make a really good way of covering your shelf that is safe for your rats and also very absorbent as well. So these IKEA bath mats are something that I use to cover my shelves and you might want to use them as well. One of the last things I saw on my trip to Ikea was these Sorterra waste bins for £9. If you're like me and you also make your rats mix or you bulk buy their food in massive bags, you might not have somewhere nice to store it. I thought these would be really cute and I've seen other people use these and they make really nice storage bins for their food and especially for their mix if you make them a mix and have nowhere to put it. I think I will pick some of these up in the future. These are just a really nice way of storing their food, especially if you do have a lot of rats to feed. The last thing I spotted was this farmer basket for £35. This is far too expensive for what it is, especially to use with rats, but it's there if you want it. I think this could be for something really cool to hang in your cage if you wanted to. Personally, I just would not spend that much on it, but it's an option. So there was a bunch of things I wanted to show you, but I couldn't find in the store, but I still wanted to mention. The first one is this Lustiqued, oh God, I can't pronounce any of these names for five pounds and I think this would be so cool to attach next to your rat's cage on the wall. If you are a homeowner and you can make modifications or just in their free room area, giving them a really cool climbing frame on the wall for only five pounds I think is so cool and definitely something I would love to pick up in the future when I do own my own house. But here it is for now if you do have that possibility, I think it'd be so cool to attach to your wall. You could also use a compartment storage from the kids section. I swear they used to have so many different colours of these because I definitely had some as a kid, but I couldn't find too many of them on the website, but you could use these in your rat's cage and hang it up. Just don't handle your rats like this little girl is holding this rabbit. Um, but you could use these as somewhere for your rats to sleep. You could put bedding or flea scraps into the different compartments and hang it in your rat's cage if you can find these in your local IKEA. I'm not too sure if they sell them anymore, but I just thought I would mention it. So the last thing I couldn't find to show you guys is this plastic bag dispenser. Hear me out on this one, it actually makes a really good tunnel. If you turn it onto its side and zip tie it into the cage, you've then got a tunnel for your rats to use. Or you could stuff it with hay and shredded paper and make it a foraging toy for your rats, but this is a really good cheap alternative to buying store-bought tunnels. Just get one from Ikea instead. You could also get some of these storage bags. This one here is a hanging one for four pounds, which could be quite good to hang up in the cage. Or there's also this more colorful one from the kids section for seven pounds, which might be good for stuffing in shredded paper and bedding and things like that, and just putting it somewhere in the cage. As well as that, there's also these fabric storage boxes from the kids section. These come in a variety of different colors and patterns and sizes, and these could be quite good for just putting somewhere in the cage and adding a bit of color and just giving your rats somewhere to sleep in the cage. You could probably work out how to hang these up or you could just place them in the cage as they are. So that is it for today's video. I hope it's given you some ideas of some cheaper alternatives and some ideas of things you can use with your rats. Do let me know down in the comments what items you use from Ikea for your rats, especially if there's one that I did forget to mention, do let everyone else know down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to see any more animal content from me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!